Hey guys, it's Simpax here with another video, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Exalag on your PC in five simple steps. I've left tabs at the bottom of this video so you guys can skip ahead if need be if this part is not relevant to you. For example, you may have already downloaded Exalag, so you can already skip part one and jump on straight to part two. Before we jump into the video, if you guys want to check out my other partners, I'm partnered with GG Subs and AU Mods, the best subs and the best controls in the game. I use this on a daily basis, so I definitely practice what I preach. All the links are going to be provided in the description below, and also make sure you use code RP to check out for a little bit of a kickback. And of course, if you want to copy yourself some Impact Crew merch, the link will be down there too. Let's not waste any more time and get into step one. The first step is to simply download Exalag. I've provided that link in the description below right at the top so it's easy for you guys to get to. Exalag conveniently do provide a free three-day trial without you providing your credit card details. So if you want to try before you buy, it's the best way to go about it. It's very straightforward, but all you're gonna do is click on the free trial button in the top right corner. You're gonna create your own account, sign up with your email and create your password. There's no credit card details required at this point. So it's really, really simple. Once logged in, simply click the tab that says download Exalag and there will be the latest version already for you. Click the download Exalag, it's gonna appear in your download show it in finder just easy access and there you go there's the setup i've already got mine installed so i won't have to go through the setup guide it's pretty simple for you on a step two which is simply to launch the application it's going to open up to something like this we're going to head over to the tools tab and we're going to give you the optimal settings starting off with the general tab i'm not going to read through everything individually you can do that yourself if you want to i'm just going to show you what i have enabled and disabled and also you can also pause the video if i go too fast for you uh, these are the four tabs that I've enabled up there. Accuracy on high, enable IPv6 and allow dual routes. I'm gonna go over to the FPS boost. This is just simply to maximize your frames per second in game and you can utilize a bunch of stuff here. Um, pretty much these bottom tabs you can all use, but just say for example, disabling Windows Defender means you might be more prone to viruses and stuff like that. So it's totally up to you if you wanna utilize them to maximize your frames. Um, I don't have them ticked because I don't think it's a uh, really necessary, but I do have these four ticks. So totally up to you if you wanna maximize your performance in game or not. Um, the traffic shaper, never limit. The multi-internet, don't have that on. Diagnostics is something that you can use if you really want to. I have no idea. And a new game request is just if you want to suggest a new game to Exalag that doesn't have it provided already. Back over to the homepage. It's probably the most important part to get your Exalag going to be able to play in the region that you desire. So first of all, you want to find the game that you're playing. I'm a Warzone player as we already have it. it shows up as Call of, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, but that's the right one. Um, there, here are all the re regions that you can use. Uh, for example, if you're in Australia, like myself, you could actually use it to Sydney and actually have better ping in your own country just by using Exalag. It will actually improve your, your ping slightly. Um, so you can do that for where you're playing, but if you want to route yourself and VPN to another country like I often do and I play in LA, I usually find LA1 and LA2 to be pretty good. We're going to find LA1, LA2, make sure the UDP routes is on two, and then also we're going to apply routes once that is done, it will show a little red light and that means it is activated. But also you might want to make sure that the top left-hand corner, that that red a uh, little bar there has been activated as well, just to make sure extra lag is actually running. Now, simply minimize extra lag or leave it open in the background if you want, doesn't really matter. Open up your game and launch it. When your game is finally open, simply search for a game. And if you start to see that it starts to search at like a 158 MS ping or 160 or whatever it might be for you, that means extra lag is working for you and you are in a different region. So now, from Melbourne, I'm able to play in LA servers. If you started searching for a game and you're searching at the normal ping like you would in your normal servers back home, then Exalag is currently not working. X out of your game, make sure it's fully closed, open up Exalag, and make sure the red dot is showing for the appropriate game that you are playing, and also that the top left bar is also activated for Exalag. Reboot your game, it should be working, and then you will have no problems. If you found this video helpful, please drop the video a like. It really helps the channel a lot. And also consider subscribing. I'm a Warzone content creator. And I'd love to show you what I got. If you haven't any problems or have any questions for me, drop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. You can also find me in all my socials in the link tree down below. I do stream live on Twitch if you want to come ask me some questions. We also have a Discord server where you can get further help from either me or one of my mods. And if you ever do come through, let me know that you came from this video. I would love to know about that. That's all from me. May the cold gods are with you. I'll see you in the next vid. Cheers.